We insert now the configuration and single line diagram for the transformer in feed. Here is the single line and here is the 7UD85. Before we connect it to the single line diagram, let's have a look on the function group structure. The function group structure for transformative protection is somewhat different to the overcurrent protection. Here we see the scheme for a two winding 7UD85. Since the transformer has two sides, we need two circuit breakers, which we describe with the two circuit breaker function groups. And we have a function group side for each side of the power transformer, side 1 and side 2. To this side we connect the currents and here we place also the side related protection functions. Then we have a separate function group transformer diff where the transformer diff protection function is located. Let's now connect the 7UD85 to the infeed. We insert the two breaker failure protection functions and the missing disconnectors. Then let's have a look into the side 1 and 2 function group. Here we enter the settings describing the transformer like nominal power, nominal voltage and the vector group type. We have dy and 5, so we set delta, isolated and 0 on side 1, whereas on side 2 we set star, grounded and 5. The nominal power remains the same, the voltage is adjusted and as mentioned before we have star, grounded and 5. The next step is to copy our interlocking CFC into the 7UT85. Copying of CFC charts into other devices is possible with Dixie 5. Compiling the chart gives us no errors because the switching elements and their names are identical here. Since we have two breakers and disconnectors, we have to double the CFC chart and connect it with the right input signals coming from breaker 2 and disconnector 2. Here we have the logic, we copied it from the first logic above and you see it is now connected to the inputs of circuit breaker 2 and disconnector 2 and also circuit breaker 2 closing is allowed and the disconnector 2 opening and closing allowed signals are connected to this part. So just by copying the logic and adding the respective signals everything is done here. In the single line diagram we synchronize the 7UD85 with a nominal current of side 1 and side 2. That means we take over the values from the single line diagram currents as before with the overhead line feeder.